Jen again from Beauty Disclosure. Uh, we are back. As the title said, we are trying three budget-friendly vitamin C's that I have I have personally tried. I'm not just like saying try this one without actually showing you guys first. Um, but I have tried them, um, uh, and they are the price between five pounds, ten pounds, and fifteen pounds. Okay. So you get a good idea of what works. So the five pound vitamin C, which I've tried, is this one here. It's the Ordinary's 100% L-absorbic acid powder. Now, um, I'll go into detail how I got on with it in a minute. Um, but that one's five pounds, okay? So that is, L-absorbic acid is 100% vitamin C. That's purest form, uh, but that's okay. And this is the second one. This is, I've already done a review on this one. This is uh, Revolution's 12.5% vitamin C serum. Well, it's like a gel in cream serum. Uh, really like this one, but I'll get into more details again in, in a second. And finally, it's the Inculus 15% and EGF vitamin C. I'll explain in a sec what it is. So yeah, vitamin C is a fantastic product. It lightens, it brightens your skin. Any marks, brown marks, sunspots, um, melasma, anything like that that you get on your skin, it will brighten it and you, you just won't see the marks as quick. It is also great antioxidant, which means it protects your skin against like pollutants and things that come um, from the sun in the atmosphere. Uh, so it's a fantastic product to have in your skincare routine. Now, I don't always believe that skincare should be, you know, have to be expensive. You know, I do feel like you can get good skincare at a very, very reasonable price. So I will crack on and we will show you this one first. So this is the Ordinaries. This is their, like I said, it was five pounds. Um, and it is, I'll show you the inside. This is um, powder form. Now, I tried this one for a couple of months. I, I didn't get on with it, I will be honest with you. Um, because it's 100% L-ascorbic acid, which is just like pure vitamin C, it is very unstable. I was using it, so what I did was, it's got a little spoon in here and you, Use a little spoon and you scoop up the powder, you put it in your hand and you mix it in with a serum or a moisturizer. And you, yeah, basically you can, you, you, that's how, you, how it works. You mix it in, put it in your hands. Now, first of all, my hands were going orange. Uh, yeah, because l ascorbic acid, when it reacts to the oxygen in the atmosphere, it goes orange. Elbscorbic acid is not the stablest form of vitamin C. So I kind of feel like I, I felt uncomfortable using it. I lost my confidence using this product. And also vitamin C can react with other ingredients and you're not supposed to use it with all the ingredients, like um, especially your actives and things, because it already is quite an active ingredient. So I was like, I don't know which products I can actually use with this. I didn't feel comfortable using that one because I was like, I'm not a chemist. Um, Because it says don't use when I'm in a site and then you're not supposed to use it with retinol and you're not meant to mix it with these types of things. Um, so I lost my confidence in the product. I was like, I don't want to use this anymore. Um, and, to, and to be fair, actually the first two weeks, in my face every time I put it on was all tingly and I was like right yeah and it's just too strong um what number one it's too strong number two it's just it's not in a stable form and number three is I didn't want to I didn't feel confident adding it to other ingredients because I don't know what those other ingredients or what it's going to do with my skin um interacting with those other ingredients so I stopped using it and I've got about half of it left so, yeah, that was my thought. I, I wouldn't recommend it. I really wouldn't. Um, maybe some of you guys get on all right with it. 
you know, put down in the comments below if you have gotten on okay with it. I just did, I didn't feel confident using it, and that's kind of why I stopped using it. Uh, so I'll move on to the second one. I really enjoyed this product. This is a Revolutions Fitment C. I've also got a a video just for this one, going through some of the Revolutions products. This the I loved the texture of this one. The texture of this one is like this creamy gel consistency which just kind of sinks into your skin and um, if you want to know more look at my video and um, because I go into like a more depth but yeah this one um I would say this is a 10 pound serum and it's like a gel cream and it is lovely like really really nice and um, it is 12.5 percent which is quite strong there is a 0.5% which you can get as well. So if you're not sure, if you think your skin's going to be too sensitive, because you kind of you have to remember vitamin C is acidic. So it can be, if you've got sensitive skin, you're probably going to find the 12.5% too strong. So I would say start with the lower end. There isn't one in the middle. There's like a... a 0.5% and there's a 12.5% if they had one in the middle like a maybe an 8% or something I don't know um, that might be good as well but you kind of it's one or the other which is the only problem in this range but yeah I, I really really like this one it's a lovely gel consistency it sinks into your skin really really nicely and it's also got a pump and I actually really like Revolution's branding just the the whole way that it works is lovely um, and this one's only £10, which is very, very good. So I'll go on to the most expensive one. Yeah, it's Inky List. <laughs> I haven't tried this one until recently. This is like the uh, most recent one I've got. This is a 15% vitamin C. So again, it's stronger. But this one comes with what they call EGF, um, which is called Epidermal Growth Factor. So basically what they're trying to do is, yes, they're trying to give you strong vitamin C, but they're also trying to give you um, protection for your skin barrier, basically. That's the basics of it. So I really appreciate that in it. It's a different consistency from the Revolutions one. Um, it's a serum. So it's a lot looser texture, a lot runnier. Um, just want to add a wee, come on, yeah, oh, no, way too much. <laughs> See, that is a, a much wetter consistency, but it does go into your skin fairly easily. Um, you know, it goes in, it's very wet. Um, but they say it's a serum. They're not saying it's a cream. They're not saying it's a gel. So, yeah. And it even has this handy bit on the back where it explains, like, um, down here what to do first and where to put this product in in your skincare uh, routine you know so basically it's the same cleanse your skin hydrate like a toner or something like that and then use this before you moisturize and then SPF and um, the important thing is yes SPF is important if you use vitamin C because it's you know it's kind of acidic and um and yeah so it's always important with your spf this one doesn't have much of a smell at all this one just had like a citrusy smell and yeah so that is the three of them um i love the texture of this one but i really appreciate the fact that this one is actually looking out to protect your skin barrier at the same time and i feel like with vitamin c um with the other two you don't get that so i would say you know if you're just starting off with vitamin c and you're a bit unsure start off with the 0.5 percent in this one um because you kind of need to build your skin up to it and if you've got sensitive skin especially you, something you're gonna have to just be aware of and um, but this one i actually am quite enjoying it I mean, the packaging is a little on the boring side, but I guess they're going for substance over style. So um, it kind of is up to yourself if you don't mind the packaging, if you want to save money. And this is the most expensive. This is £15. But there's a lot more expensive vitamin C's 
out there, but I kind of feel like this is giving you a good vitamin C and protecting your skin at the same time. So that is my thoughts. Let me know what vitamin C you're using. I would love to know, or if you've tried any of these and have the same thoughts or even different thoughts from, from me. And uh, it would be, yeah, it'd be really good to hear from you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like us, subscribe us, and we will talk to you soon. Thank you very much. Bye.